Hi and welcome to Fondant Jungle Animals. This is what we're going to be making today, this cute little scene. Um, the reason we're going to just do it on a cardboard and make it a little scene like this is um, I just pretty much want to show you how to make the animals. Um, these can certainly be done for a cake. You can make them ahead of time, pop them on the cake. Uh, maybe make them at the beginning of the week, put them on the cake at the end of the week. Um, but when I do classes, I usually like to make, if I do animals or something like that, I usually like the students to make a whole little scene um, rather than having them bring a cake also. So we are starting, we need a seven inch cardboard cake circle. And that's what I have right here. And all I've done, in, rather than cover the, covering the entire board with the paper, I've just taken black electrical tape that you can get it pretty much any store, any type of um, either a hardware store, I mean lots of places, even drugstores sell it um, nowadays. So it's just black. You can get it in all sorts of different colors these days also. So for this backdrop, we're actually just going to use another cake board, say, same size, seven inch. I cut it in half and then I just put a little bit of a bend in it, just like so. Okay, just like that. So it'll stand back here. Okay. So for the backdrop there, I need to take, um, and this is just a light blue. So I need to take some of the blue. And it's actually good when you're mixing this that if you don't mix the color in all the way, that'll work that way. Or since I already have more of a solid blue here, I'm gonna take some white and mix that in. Cause you want it, I want it to look a little bit more like sky. So let me just knead the blue up a little bit here first. And then if you kind of put them in little cords like this and then twist it and then just start to knead it together. Now it's sticking a little bit to my hands so I'll just take a little bit of shortening on my hands and a little bit of shortening down here just so it doesn't stick to the surface and just start kneading it. Then I need a rolling pin which I always like my disposable dowel rolling pin. It works the best. Take the cornstarch, place it down, take the rolling pin. So I need to flip the whole thing over. Okay, so this is the back. So I'm just gonna use some water. Nine times out of 10, I actually use the shortening, but I don't have a bigger brush with me today. So I'm just going for the water. Either works, either way. Okay, so I need to put it down this way and then flip this on over. Okay, and then just kind of smooth this around here. And then just take your pizza cutter and just cut all the way around the edge. Okay, and to pick it up, I usually use a uh, artist palette knife spatula because the blade is real thin and you can get right under it. Flip it over, because this is actually the front. And then where it's coming apart right now, that means I need a little bit more water there. And then for this seam, all you have to do is pinch this together. Okay, so this is gonna go back here. Now to get this to stand up, we're gonna put some of the rocks by it. Right before I do that, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the blue fondant here and actually just dip it in the water. Uh, I just dipped it in the water and then just place it right down there. Just to support it right there in the front and a little bit in the back so it doesn't flop back on me. 